peace and blessings to everybody. Now, how long do you think faith is supposed to last? A day, a week, a month, a couple of years of your life? Or well, the answer is it's supposed to last for the rest of your life because the devil doesn't care how old you are, whether you're one years old or whether you're 99 years old. He's going to come to attack you and try to get you to stray away from God. He's going to come to attack you to try to make you seem like you're weak. He don't want you uh, fulfilling your purpose. He don't want you reaching towards your goal. Even if, you, even if you don't have knowledge of God, he still don't even want you knowing the difference between right and wrong, which is why we do the things that we do today. But God gives us the answer which in Matthew chapter 24, verse 9 through 13. He says, Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and they shall kill you, and, you, and ye shall be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets, prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. We gotta endure until the end. They're gonna try to break your body. They're gonna try to break your soul. They're gonna try to break your mental. This is where the spiritual warfare starts anyway, and they know that. They're gonna try to do many things to do to you to make you stray away from God at anything for any certain reason. They don't want you to believe in him at all. Because as you see, he says people are gonna to start to betray each other. It's gonna be mother versus daughter, son versus father, brother versus sister. Your family not gonna even be family no more. You know how families stick together, but that's gonna come to an end. Family is just gonna be a word. It's not gonna have no meaning to it. And that's what they are already trying to do to us. They're gonna to try to kill you, but you should not have no fear with none of this. Because you gotta understand this life is temporary. They just wanna break you and the devil wanna be the God of this world, but he's not. He will not win, evil will not prevail. And if you think evil will prevail, you got another, another thing coming. Because when you start looking for peace and there's nowhere to be found, that's when it's gonna prevail in your heart. Don't let that prevail in your heart. Don't let these people take control of your spirit. They may break my body, but they will never break my spirit. They may break my heart, but you can never have my spirit. And that's what God is. God is the spirit. Let him live within you. He already lives within us, but it's a choice if you want to activate that spirit within you. It's a choice if you want to listen to him. He asks you to surrender. He says, surrender to me and you shall be saved. Faith has to last until the very end. They don't care what age you are. You got to do what you got to do until the very end and stand your ground. Peace and blessings.